I think uh, a touch of Eurythmics is called for there. A digital compact disc player which uses a laser beam to read the musical information from the record. And uh, it's a terrific sound. It's just a shame that you can't fully appreciate it since the average home television can't reproduce the superb clear sound. But anyone fortunate enough to have a digital disc player in their living room will know just how good that sound is. And now, predictably, manufacturers want to extend digital hi-fi from the living room to the great world outside. And that means portable units and ones that will work in the car. But it's a pretty sensitive piece of equipment. Any vibration causes the music to skip from one section to the other. And you'll appreciate how tough a test that was when I tell you that the laser inside here is having to follow a spiral track that's so fine that if we increase the size of the disc to fill the Albert Hall, that track in the surface of the disc would still be no bigger than a match head. So for the laser to follow that fine spiral accurately enough, the head must be precisely moved in by electronically controlled motors. But just like an ordinary record, a vibration makes it jump. So, for portable use, a new circuit has been added that constantly monitors the laser's position. Now, when a vibration tries to make the disc jump, the circuit instantly tells the laser to lock itself back on to where it should be. And here it is, using that circuit, the world's first portable digital disc player. And uh, that's the little laser, just there. You can use it with its very own battery pack and headphones, but just so that you can hear whether the anti-vibrator circuit works, we're using it in its other mode, that is, plumbed into mains electricity and fed through a home hi-fi. There it is, on there. It has all the usual features that you get on a much bigger set, like uh, fast forward, or a quick backward search. But the real test is whether it can put up with the movement. So, there we go. The anti-vibration circuit is holding the laser accurately on the track so that it withstands the sort of movement you get while carrying it around. And that same circuitry means digital hi-fi can now perform in that favourite of listening environments, the car. They reckon that uh, the equipment that's inside this car can cope with more or less any bump you like. So uh, let's hope it keeps tracking and I'll keep tracking over my, oh, wrong way, my road here. So here we go. There we are, not a hiccup, which I suppose means for the very first time I can enjoy getting into dire straits while motoring. <laughs>